Hello guys, this is Cassiudis again with another Minecraft tutorial and this time we're going to have a look at my 3x3 piston wall uh, which is a pretty nice toy to have around so let's check it out by flicking this lever you can hide some stuff, some valuable stuff and it has lots of space and to close it again it's uh, fairly fast and this is another option you can light some lamps in front of it and hide some secret entrance you can even close it from inside it will be completely closed now and hide other stuff valuable stuff now to open it from inside climb up the ladder to go out and close it behind you the system is very compact uh, as you can see I can even uh, place two of them side by side and it's expandable. This is one example of it, so let's see what it does. So as you can see it's completely flush and you can have a little room with your anvil and crafting table and materials and even uh, next to another room. And now you will see some glitchy behavior of the redstone but it has nothing to do with my uh, redstone it's something that hopefully Mojang will fix soon so this block will be pulled back and now it will be left behind yeah ugly and now it will work properly no yes I guess it will not work properly anymore ever Well, and I don't know, I don't know. So it has really not a, a reason to fail because the circuit is all the same and let's have a look at that. So this part here is responsible for the top layer. Uh, it controls those two rows. And this down here is a chain that controls the bottom pistons. All right, so the first thing that I needed after being able to control those two rows was to make something that was able to control a double piston extender from behind, from, from below, I'm sorry, and not interfere. So this is what I came up with. This is the classic uh, layout and I just brought it up like this so it works. So if you need something that will be flush and controlled from uh, below just use this simple design alright so let's see how everything else is made as you can see here this is the compact redstone behind it and let's build it alright guys the first thing that you will need is to build a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube with your pistons everything will be uh, sticky pistons and the wall that you want you can change the wall like this for example and then let's start from uh, below like this by the way guys if I say behind sometimes I mean below so that, that's just something that is in my mind today I don't know why and torch is here in this V shape so now start by placing three blocks here and let's control those uh, the bottom pistons with this 2x3 platform so 4 ticks in the middle, 2 ticks here and where your uh, the front of the circuit will be make an L shape like this and we can already control the bottom pistons the pistons in the bottom alright so uh, when I designed this I wanted to have my input here and you can change it probably so start by placing a block here with redstone on top and blocks like this and in order to, to synchronize those bottom pistons with uh, everything that was going to be on top of it I used a 4 tick repeater here but you don't need to it's just the way I decided to do it so let's check it it's working alright so now place a piston here, sticky piston, and the redstone block. 
now let's make uh, a little staircase here all right and redstone torch with a block on top and this line will control the the first extension so four ticks here and redstone here now skip one row and put your redstone sauce over all of that and now uh, let's make something that was really tricky to make it more compact uh, like this redstone block here and place uh, those two blocks up here with redstone on top now in order to make it completely flush so you don't have uh, a torch here you will need to put this torch up here and now just place those two blocks here and it should be done by now so let's check it yeah extension ok and retraction is not working so what's that again <laughs> yeah something weird happened here this is the weird day so let's make it again I really don't know what happened there alright so now you can cover up this will be your floor and it will be flush with the wall here and from inside you can cover everything up or place your chests none of those blocks will interfere with the redstone uh, and you can even um, use a lamp here if you place a torch here so you have some lighting effects yeah and that's it's done guys that's it the circuit I consider to be very small very compact for what it does and it's using bud switches it so it means it may break in the future let's hope it doesn't and I think that this is all that I wanted to show you guys today I hope you enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to give me a like to support my channel or a dislike if you really hated that and that's it for today guys thank you very much for watching see you next time bye bye really watch guys there's nothing around here so there where you see that torch 